Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are cooking out of our vintage crock pot recipe book. All right, if you're new here, hi, I'm Claire. Welcome, come on in, make yourselves comfortable. Do you enjoy vintage cooking? I certainly do. I will leave the entire playlist of vintage recipes that I have tried down below. They range from a lot of different cookbooks. This one I've only done one other recipe out of and it was really good. I will leave a link specifically to that recipe down below. This is the Rival Crock-Pot Cooking Recipe Book. I scored this at a thrift store. This is originally from 1975, so right when the Crock-Pot came out. Uh, and really it is full of some really amazing recipes, a lot that look really good and a lot that look totally crazy. So our last recipe that we did out of this book did turn out delicious. Uh, so I thought I would pick one that maybe seems like maybe it might not be delicious. Maybe not, maybe not not delicious, but maybe unexpected. Because, people, there is a whole chapter on seafood in the crock pot and I had to try it. I just have to see what's gonna happen here. So on page 98, I have found clam casserole. We are cooking clams in the crock pot today. Now, if you are not new here and you've watched some of my vintage recipes, then you might uh, be in it solely for my husband's response. Uh, he does not know that I'm doing this today. He does not know that this, in fact, will be what he's eating for dinner this evening. Uh, so make sure you stay tuned all the way to the end to see how my husband Johnny feels about crock pot clams. Now honestly, it's a pretty simple recipe, list of ingredients, you mix them all together and you put it in the crock pot. So, let's do it. And for this recipe, you are going to need three cans of clams. You're also going to need four eggs, a quarter of a cup of butter, a third a cup of milk, uh, some salt, we also have um, a half a cup of minced onion. It does call for a quarter cup of green pepper, but I had this bit of a orange pepper I had to use up, so I thought might as well do that. And of course, what crock pot casserole is complete without saltine crackers. All right, so in the way of prep work, we just have to chop our veggies. It only calls for a quarter of a cup of, uh, of chopped uh, green pepper or, you know, orange pepper if you're like me. I don't really think there's a big difference like in flavor, I guess. And I mean, the orange will make it look pretty, right? Now we wanna mince it, which means it's like really small. My knife skills are not incredible. If you came here for professional kitchenry, I'm sorry, that's it's not what you're gonna get. This is, this is how we mince. I am growing these in my garden this year, so a couple more months and I'll be able to just pull one right off of my bush, plant, you know what I mean. We also need half a cup of minced onion. Now, if you also watch my channel, you know that cutting onions is literally the worst thing for me. And everyone always leaves me suggestions uh, and I've tried like literally everything and it doesn't matter. I mean, I could literally just think about an onion and my eyes will start watering. So yeah, I'm just, this is probably gonna get messy and wild looking, but it's because I literally, I literally can't. Someone said not to cut the butt off, to, to go around the butt. We're gonna try that today? I don't know, that seems dumb. Oh my eyes, the pain. Honestly, I should have just thrown this in my food processor, shouldn't I have? Well, I feel like it's too late for that now. Oh, dear Lord, please let this be half a cup. <laughs> All right, now we're supposed to mix everything up in a bowl. So we're gonna start with the clams. It does mention that they are supposed to be six and a half ounces each. Sometimes I find with these vintage recipes, the can sizes have changed. However, the clam can sizes have not changed. So I'm gonna drain these and then we're gonna throw them in. All right, in they go. Three cans of clam. And also, surprisingly enough, I got these at Target. They just sell cans of clam at Target. I, that surprised me. Next, we have four eggs. This is where the recipe is already getting a little questionable to me. That seems like a, like a lot of egg matter when there's not really a lot else. Uh, but you know what, maybe it'll be delicious. I don't know. Of course we wanna beat those first. All right, in she goes. 
Next, we have a quarter cup of butter or four tablespoons, but that needs to be melted. So I'm gonna pop that in the microwave really quickly. All right, there we go. Yum. Next, we have a third of a cup of milk. We also have one teaspoon of salt, which I also wanna mention is our only seasoning here. That's it, no pepper, no garlic, no nothing. I suppose we do have the onion, which will add flavor, but it's not, we're not spicing this at all. We're really, really trying to let the clam flavor shine. Throw in our vegetables. And lastly, we have our saltine crackers, which I thought might go like on the top, but actually it gets mixed right in. And we need 18 of these. All right, I'm just, I'm just gonna do one of these. Coarsely crushed. All right, wow. I'm getting really excited for this. <laughs> All right, give this a little stir. Oh, what? All right, we are, we are ready for the slow cooker. All right, literally the only instructions in a bowl, mix all ingredients, pour into a well-greased crock pot, cover, cook on low for five to six hours. That is very simple. I will say, I hope, I mean, if it does turn out delicious, it would be pretty fun because that was so fast and simple to put together and it like didn't dirty hardly any dishes, which I think is a plus. And even though maybe it wasn't super popular in 1975, I don't really know how people greased their crock pots in the 70s. If you're from the 70s, if you remember, let me know. When did, when did cooking spray come out? Or did your family just use butter? Or like, I don't know. I'm, I'm curious. I'm gonna be using cooking spray. Wow, okay. <laughs> I mean, I can't say it looks delicious, but like, honestly, casseroles are never like beautiful, right? Wow, that really did not fill up my crock pot very high. Okay, there we go. Put it on low, and we'll see you later. All right, you guys, it's been just shy of five hours and I've gone ahead and moved the crock pot to warm because it looks, I don't wanna say crispy, but it looks well done. I think we need to stop it now. Uh, maybe my crock pot is a little higher powered than the ones they had in the 70s because, I mean, it looks good. Yeah, I'll show you. See what I mean? It is golden, it is solid. I think it is ready to be enjoyed, but I wouldn't wanna put it in here for much longer. It actually smells really good and reminds me of something you might smell on like a really tasty Asian buffet uh, sort of situation. So I'm actually getting really excited to give this a try. My husband should be home any minute uh, and then we'll dish it up. All right, take a look. What is it? What do you think it is? Um, smell it. It's got, uh, it smells like chowder. It kind of does smell like chowder, but there's no cheese in it. It is clam casserole. Excited? Apprehensive. All right, well, sit down, dear. Let me serve you. Are there crackers? Okay, when I tell you there are crackers, but they're in it. <laughs> Honestly, I think the chowder remark was pretty astute of you. Oh. Okay, guys. What? Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna give you more than that. I think that's probably enough. I mean, it's like a, I mean, it's like an omelet. Okay, I will Wait, admit. Wait, is there egg in this? <laughs> it's a little eggier than I feel like it should be. Yeah, this is like a whole egg casserole. Like, it is egg more than anything else, I would even argue. It's kinda good though. It needs bread. Like, it needs to just be on bread. 
it's like a frittata. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, or I, like it's like a clam quiche, isn't I, it? It's I'm like a clam quiche. Pleasantly surprised at how this. It's is. not bad, and I think that the the pepper. I put a not a green pepper, an orange pepper in it, and I think that's giving it great flavor. But there's no cheese. No, there's no cheese. Interesting. I feel like cheese would be good though. Mm -hmm. What are you getting? A piece of bread, Hawaiian style. Hawaiian style bread. So like better with a pie crust, you could just say. Oh yeah, for sure. It's like it would be. It is like really velvety. You know what I mean? Like the texture is really good. I mean the clams are clams. They just taste like clams, which I don't think they have a real strong flavor, but they do have that sort of chewy texture. So if you're not into that, then this won't be good. <laughs> it's actually totally good. Yeah, surprisingly. I'm so shocked by this. Me too. <laughs> See? It's... I can do weird things with seafood and it can turn out great. It is decent. This is the reminder I needed that clams are actually a very versatile ingredient. Now... Um, I thought I was going to ruin your day. This does feel like a sailor's breakfast. Hmm. <laughs> I will say that. It is breakfasty because of the eggs. Yeah. Ah, uh, yes. You have a long day at sea ahead of you. Mmm. <laughs> Oi. <laughs> <laughs> but in conclusion, I would say this is a winner. Yeah, I am not disappointed. And with that, thank you so much for watching. Uh, and we will see you next time. Bye.